What up, what up, Asinam Hiswater? Welcome back, guys. Here's your boy Sean. And your girl. Yes, yes, yes. Mel. Welcome to Asinam Water. How are you guys doing today? We hope you guys are absolutely amazing. Yes, guys. Hey, if you're having a rough day, let's turn around right now with some good energy and some comedy, all right? So, my lovely wife, what do we have today, babe? All right, babe. Yeah. Today we'll be reacting to School is Bullshit. Ron mm. Taylor, Don't Tell Comedy Secret Skit. I'm um, sets. I'm sorry. Sets, okay. Don't Tell Comedy Secret Sets. Yeah. And this is our first time reacting to Ron Taylor. First time. Can't wait. You guys sent this over, all right? So, we got to jump straight into it. Alright. So before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on your post notification bell so you guys get notified. We love comedy. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Let's go, my love. Good energy, good comedy. Yeah. Love All a good right. laugh, right? Yes. What's going on, white people? <laughs> Let's just get it out the way right now. <laughs> This is my hair, this is not a hat. <laughs> no, white ladies, you can't touch it after the show. <laughs> after every show, I get some lady trying to trump my fucking fro. What if I grab your cooch? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody think I'm a bitch. Because <laughs> I wear glasses and got an afro. <laughs> Big guys be trying to kick my ass. What's up, little motherfucker? Wait a minute, god damn it. I can fight, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I might surprise us both. <laughs> like, I have an astigmatism, not a muscle deficiency, though. <laughs> Try me, I might fuck you up. <laughs> I'm lying, I can't fight. <laughs> Got my ass whooped not too long ago. In the fifth grade. <laughs> But it was by a big, tall, big, strong girl. It was the <laughs> girl, she whipped my ass. My daddy didn't want no bitch for a kid, so he put me in karate classes. Now, I didn't know this at the time, and y'all might know this right now, but karate only work if both people know the shit. <laughs> you ever think about that? The only time you see karate effectively being used it's by two karate motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm in here learning how to defend against crouching tiger, hidden dragon. They ain't teaching me about this Sasquatch bitch stomping on my face. <laughs> what this wax off, wax on sensei? I'm dying. <laughs> this shit don't work if ain't nobody gonna do this. You, <laughs> you do this shit in a regular fight, they'll knock your goddamn head off. <laughs> <laughs> I got mad too. I'm like, wait a minute, bitch, you're supposed to do this first. <laughs> She's a stripper now, so. I lost the battle, but I won the war. All throughout the pandemic, I ain't do nothing productive. I had this girl, and we like, she was my roommate, and then the pandemic hit, and you know, jailhouse rules, dog. <laughs> We got locked up together, man, and started fucking. I'm just glad my roommate was a girl. Otherwise, it'd be a different Ron up here, because rules is rules. It was weird being in a relationship throughout the pandemic, man. Every other day, she was like checking on the status of our relationship. What are we? What are we doing? What are we? Bitch, surviving. What are you talking about? What do you want, more? You, you, you want to be closer? You want to get married? Like, we are quarantined in a studio apartment. <laughs> I inhale your farts, bitch. You don't get closer than this. <laughs> Past the time, I was just watching YouTube videos, just going down rabbit holes. I learned so much useless stuff. Like, I know how to perform a C-section perfectly right now. <laughs> what a bitch going to labor. I'll deliver the fuck out that baby. <laughs> I was watching these uh, white women in Wisconsin. That's not what they was called, but that's what they were. <laughs> they was cooking, and I would, like, follow their recipes all throughout the pandemic, but it would always get to a point in their recipe where they would do some shit or ask for some shit that I couldn't get. They'd be like, all right, now go down to your local butcher. I'm like, well, uh, wait a minute. Bitch. What year do you live in? 
local butcher? I don't know an international butcher. <laughs> well, you want me to go down to the cobbler and have my shoes fixed? <laughs> Get a fork fashioned by the blacksmith? Is it at Ralph's or Gelson's? That's all I know. <laughs> And white people, y'all been lying, man. Y'all made us think y'all couldn't cook all this time. Bullshit. You can. You know about spices and herbs and seasonings. Not the important one like salt, but y'all know all the other ones. Paprika, oregano, fucking thyme. I thought thyme was a unit of measurements for moments past. No. It, <laughs> you guys are fucking stupid. It is. <laughs> it's an herb. <laughs> it's okay, we're all dumb. I don't take credit for anything stupid I say up here. Because <laughs> I'm a product of public schools. <laughs> they, they don't teach you shit, man. In public schools in here, public school in here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Just waste our time. You ever think about how much time school wasted of ours? Wow. They don't teach us nothing important, nothing useful. And it's the most like important time that we go to school. That's when you can learn anything. You can yes. be a fucking astronaut, learn multiple languages, and they teach us horse shit <laughs> for nothing. And that's a lot of time too. Like you go to school for 12 years, you study subjects for six hours a day, five days a week, and you not a professional none of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> How? How is that possible? How do you go somewhere and s Hold on, can we stop right there? Because he's sitting on the valid point right there. Wow. I mean, it's oh, funny, yes. but then again, it's, it's like, oh funny. my goodness, it's, it's like, scary. Oh, we had to go through these public schools as wow. he's speaking about. Wow. He's talking about us. It's, wow, it's man. hurtful, but it's funny. But it's like, I want to go back to school, but a different school to really learn. Like, here we go. Wow. Study things that long and not become a professional that. Wow. I've been jumping rope for three weeks. I feel like Muhammad Ali already. <laughs> These motherfuckers wasted my time. Math class, I learned nothing useful past addition, subtraction. That was it. I should have been done after that. <laughs> but they keep going. I know how to find the height of a tree using the shadow that it casts. <laughs> right now. <laughs> I can do that, but I got to call my mama every time it's time for me to do my taxes. Why? <laughs> Fuck that tree. Cut it down. <laughs> Why am I in the woods? These are better questions. <laughs> what did you use to measure the shadow? Use that on the tree, motherfucker. <laughs> That's critical thinking. <laughs> right. Science class, I learned a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> I learned about some of the most useless things in the world. I learned about rocks. <laughs> rocks, dog. Is there anything more useless than rocks? <laughs> they don't grow, they don't melt, they don't move, they just there. <laughs> and I had a whole semester on these bitches. <laughs> I learned about an igneous rock. A metamorphic rock was the last one up. <laughs> Dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> <All right. laughs> A sedimentary rock. You ain't thought about that shit since school. <laughs> you had a whole semester just for that laugh. That was it. I hope it was worth it. Rocks. Wow. Fuck rocks. I don't smoke crack. Why am I learning this? <laughs> Teach me something I can use in science class. Like, <laughs> this is fucked up. <laughs> Teach me something I can use in science, like how to do a pressure point abortion. That is... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all. <laughs> I didn't say I would do it. I just want to know how to. <laughs> Somebody come up to you, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Not no more. <laughs> Playing, playing wow. Parenthood right there. I just... <laughs> so Y'all can eat shit, goddamn. Oh, it's a joke for me. They practice the shit over there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Oh. <sighs> a lot of white.
white ladies out here tonight. You guys are cool. I dated a white lady before. It was interesting. Y'all a little too free. Y'all need some oppression in y'all life. Y'all are white women just, what? I was like, wait a minute. Jesus Christ. You gotta put a white woman under arrest when you fuck her. Put your hands where I can see them, because you keep... Stop trying to put your finger in my ass, lady. <laughs> Stating this white girl, she wanted to peg me. <laughs> yeah. What is that? If you don't know what pegging is, good for you. What is it? Pegging is when a woman puts on a strap-on dildo and fucks you in the butt. Oh, no. <laughs> You know, I was like, no. <laughs> she was at me though, come on, come on, why won't you try? Why won't you let me try? Come on, you might like it. I said, excuse me, I might like it. <laughs> I'm sure I'd like it. I, I <laughs> no quarrels with that, I'm certain. It's gotta be great. There are marchers every June for it. There's no way. <laughs> it's not awesome. <laughs> That don't mean I need to do it. Oh, she wasn't done. Come on, why won't you let me try? <laughs> Finally, I had to tell her, like, look, goddammit, why won't I let you try? Look, do I look like, why? <laughs> why won't I let you try? Cause, cause you white, that's why. <laughs> I can't let a white woman fuck me in the ass. <laughs> Do you know how far back I took black people if I left a blue-eyed, blonde-haired devil? Fuck me. <laughs> how talk to my parents after that shit? <laughs> Son, you couldn't find a sister to fuck you in the ass? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Which one do I have time for? <laughs> Let me see, do I wanna make you guys laugh or make white people feel bad? <laughs> what do you want? Oh. Yeah, no. Both? <laughs> Somebody said bad, you guys are masochists. <laughs> 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 Whatever. <laughs> I just say this, drink up, man. Drink up, but be safe. You know, don't drink too much, I guess. It's illegal. <laughs> I don't even get it. All the rules around drinking is just weird. You gotta be 21, why? Says who? Why, why 21? Why not 20? Why not 22? What's special about this number? You know how many other dangerous things you can do before you're 21? You can drive a car, that's very dangerous. You can be the police, that's very dangerous. You can... <laughs> you can be the police at 18. You can be in the war over there fighting for our freedom and safety at 18, all right? put into better perspective for you. You can do porn <laughs> at 18. You can suck dick legally, pay taxes, have kids. You go to work, you have a hard day at work, you get off, you sticky, you crunchy, your pussy's on fire. You go home to three screaming kids and you gotta drink a Capri Sun? What? <laughs> some tequila, she deserves it. <laughs> Stupid rules, you can't drink and drive. What the fuck is the cup holder for? <laughs> That's entrapment. <laughs> if you can't drink and drive, why is there a parking lot at the liquor store? <laughs> How the fuck do you think I got here on horseback? <laughs> Then they just send you to jail. I don't like that. They just like, oh, you need to go to jail. It's like, come on, we got to have better solutions than that. <laughs> just you drink, you go to jail? Give us like a lane or something. <laughs> like a drunk driving lane. Bikers get it. Get on the bus, you broke bitch. We're driving here. <laughs> I'll help design. It'll be a drunk driving lane like when you take kids bowling, you put the bumpers up. <laughs> and you just, and you. <laughs> you get to your destination. <laughs> or when you go to the car wash, you put your car in neutral on that track and you just slide up. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. I'm Ron Taylor. <laughs>
comedy, Let man. Let me tell you, he is funny. Oh. He's pretty, he's pretty good. <laughs> he's pretty good. I think he's wow. his mind. Um, he owned the stage. Yeah. And he had a whole bunch of punchlines. Yeah, and there was it was a lot of truth to what he was saying yeah. as well. Especially about school. <laughs> yes, Lord. I'm telling you, these Baltimore City public schools, <laughs> um, they didn't do as good. I know. They, they, they it's sad, it's but it's the truth. It's the truth. And it's funny as well. It's good that we can laugh at our yeah. pain. Yeah. Have a good joke and laugh it off, you know. Wow, man. Yeah. He was hilarious, though. Yes. I like funny. how he talked about, you know, <laughs> the drinking at, why is it 21? You could go why over and fight the war at 18. You yes. can do, you know, you can pay um, pay taxes and have it. children, porn and, and porn. all of that. And you have a hard but day at work. Drink. You come like home and have to have a Capri Sun. Capri that Sun. was funny. Oh, he my God. Give us some tequila. <laughs> But she deserves some tequila. At the end of the day, I love comedians that talk about their self. Yeah. That make fun of their self. You know what I'm saying? Because that right there, like, evens it out. Another like, funny part you know. is what he said. The lady tried to, you know, put the strap on. I don't wow. I forget what he, what he called it. That was my said, first time. Or something. Yes, that was first my that was my first time hearing about it. But the lady put on the strap on. Wow. And he said, I know it's good. <laughs> They celebrate. They have a whole month to celebrate it in June. It gotta be good. <laughs> wow, man, this guy's amazing, man. Oh my goodness. I would definitely like to check him out again. Wow. Yes. Most definitely, definitely I would. I would love to see him in person. Oh yeah. I would pay for a ticket. Stand up. I would definitely pay for. Most our definitely, to go to yeah. A show and support this guy, man. Yeah, he's he's really he's a young funny. Young comedian, it seems like he's coming up in this, you know. Yes, and he's funny. And he's funny. I mean, he's there funny. was not a dry moment. <laughs> yes. Yes. From the time funny. he started until the time it was over, everybody was laughing, including us. So yes. I absolutely love it. I give him a ten out of ten. I give him a ten as well. All right. I think he yes. can reach. He's gonna people. blow up. He can reach us easily because you know it's like. The comedy that he was saying can be yes. white and black. Very yeah. relatable for I us like all. Yes. I like that. I like that. I like that. Well, definitely. All right, guys. Um, go ahead and smash that like button. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. And also get inside the comment section. Let us know what you think about this stand-up comedian. This guy was definitely hilarious. Yes. We need more, all right? All That's right. our time. We are signing off. Here's your boy, Sean. And you, girl. I love it. Pieces. I love you more. We, we love, love you guys. guys. Have an amazing day on purpose. Purpose. S&M. What? Peace.